Welcome to Estimate Rocket. This quick tutorial will go over the basics of setting up your account and sending out your first estimate. You can log into your account at any time by clicking on the login button in the top right hand corner of our website or you can go to www.login.estimaterocket.com from any web browser. Our support page can also be accessed at any time by simply selecting the help button in the top right hand corner of your screen. Before we make an estimate, let's upload your logo and review the terms and conditions that will appear at the bottom of your document. To upload your logo, go to Settings, Company Info. Once there, click on the Browse button, find your logo, then click Open or Save depending on which operating system you have, and then select Update to upload the logo. Next, let's review your terms and conditions by going to Settings, Document Templates. The text in the Terms tab will appear at the bottom of your estimates. You can copy and paste in your own terms or use the default ones. If you have any formatting problems, just contact us and we will be happy to help you with them. Always be sure to click the blue Save button before you leave the page if you've made any changes. Now let's get to the fun part, making the estimate. Go to the dashboard and select the green plus estimate button. This is the starting point for every new customer or project. You can search for existing clients that are already in the system, or you can make a new one by clicking on the New Client button and entering in their information. If the location address is different from the billing address, uncheck Location, same as Billing Address, and enter in the Work Location address. Now that we have created a new project, let's add a line item for the service we will be providing for this client. Line items are created using the green plus button in the Line Items row. I'm going to make a new one and give it a name, unit price, quantity, and a description. If you have saved items in the system, you can quickly search for them in the drop down at the top. For this example, we are creating a simple line item, but the item system within Estimate Rocket is extremely powerful and can enable you to calculate more complex items and services with item templates. Once you are done adding all the line items, click the Complete Estimate button to mark this task as complete. The green action buttons update the current state of the project so you always know what needs to be done to move it forward towards completion. The Complete Estimate action also makes a proposal that your client can view and accept in the customer portal. Proposals are a saved snapshot of your estimate, so if you make any changes to your estimate, make sure you use the green plus button in the Proposals row to create an updated proposal. Now we are ready to send the estimate to the client. We can do this by selecting the blue Email button in the Documents row of the project. Estimate Rocket is built in email templates that will write the entire email for you. We have default templates set up, but you can create and customize them further under Settings, Email Templates. In the body of the email, there will be a link that will take the customer to the portal where the customer can view and accept this estimate. Once finished, hit send. And that's it. You have successfully created and sent your first estimate. We have barely begun to scratch the surface of what Estimate Rocket can do. There are many more features, ways to customize and manage your projects. Remember, you can always access our full support site by clicking on the help button in the top right hand corner, or you can always talk with a real person via chat, email, or by phone. We want you to have an amazing experience with Estimate Rocket. Thank you for watching.